Welcome to One Namibia TV. Please subscribe. Welcome to Ochivalunda Salt Pen. The Ochivalunda Salt Pen, located in Uvudia constituency, Oshana region, Namibia, it is located approximately 250 km north west of Otavi and west of the Great Etosha Pen and about 80 km northwest of Ukaukiu, a salt pen somewhat west of the big Etosha Pen. Natural salt pens are flat expanses of ground covered with salt and other minerals, usually shining white under the sun. They are found in dry climates. In Namibia, salt pens occur along the coast, for example, at Cape Cross, as well as further inland, Etosha Pen. The pens of Ovamboland, which belong to the inland pens, contain sodium sulfate, sodium carbonate, as well as some sodium chloride, the latter better known as table or rock salt. For many centuries, the salt crust, NACI, NACI, on these pens has been used for domestic purposes by the Owambo people. The existence of the underlying soda ash, Na2CO3 plus NaHCO3 and thenardite, Na2SO4, has only been known since 1915. The latter are being used by the chemical industry in the production, among others, of washing powder, paper, textiles, and glass. During each rainy season, at least part of the salt is dissolved and redeposited in the subsequent dry season. Natural salt pens or salt flat pens or salt flats are flat expanses of the ground covered with salt and other minerals. A salt pen forms by evaporation of a water pool such as a lake or pond. This happens in climates where the rate of water evaporation exceeds the rate of precipitation, that is, in a desert. If the water cannot drain into the ground, it remains on the surface until it evaporates, leaving behind minerals precipitated from the salt ions dissolved in water. Over thousands of years, the minerals, usually salts, accumulate on the surface. These minerals reflect the sun's rays through radiation and often appear as white areas. Salt pans can be dangerous. The crust of salt can conceal a cockmere of mud that can engulf a truck. The Qatar Depression in the eastern South Sahara Desert contains many such traps which served as strategic barriers during World War II. Thank you very much for watching. And also, don't forget to subscribe to One Namibia TV channel for more future videos. Also, like the video, share and leave the comment below. See you in the next video.